So on Project Egg Roll, I talked about a um, an unofficial music video that talks about Assassin's Creed Shadow. Last time when I watched it, it didn't have any subtitles, but it has subtitles now. So I want to watch this. And it's been out for three days and it has 626,000 views with 33,000 likes. Holy crap. So let's actually re react to this and watch this. And I'm going to be um, reading through the, um, what's it called again? The subtitles. And I will share this video at the end so you guys can watch it yourself. But yeah, let's go and check this out. Yes, we can. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, damn, this sounds so good. Holy crap, man. It sounds so good. So, um, so uh, where we stop? Okay, we're at 40, 46 seconds. So, um, yeah, it's just it's talking about it's like, talking about Yasuke, even though it's uh it's an Assassin's Creed main character. Uh, yeah, character is Yasuke. Yeah, right. He's not an assassin, right? That's the assassin is Naoe. Uh, and then uh, AC didn't show a real person. Yeah, the Assassin's Creed didn't show a real person. It's the first time it's been staged in Japan. So, like I said, it's so easy for them to make this game like a home run, right? Assassin, Ninja, Shinobi. So easy. And then you screwed it up by putting identity politics, by changing up historical factual stuff that's happened in, in Japan. And whenever someone brings it up, when someone talks about it saying this is incorrect, you call us racist. You call us bigots. You, you call us, you guys don't know what you're talking about. Let us make the video game. Shut your mouths and consume and buy our video game, which is insane. All right, so we're at what, 46 seconds? Here we go. Do your best to prove the history. I'm trying to read, but the song is so good, man. Make him gay. <laughs> Well, okay, we, we, we did read an article saying that they're going to make uh, Naoe and Yasuke, like, gay, right? You can have sex with any characters in the game. Like, I remember reading that. Like, we talked about it before. And, yeah, like, I, no, I, I guarantee you, Nobunaga would be like, Yasuke, you know, you are samurai now. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the sword. And he's like, yes, but do you want my sword? <laughs> Oh man, man, pride. Yeah, you also get the pride of Japan. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, this means I'm trying to read, but I'm trying not to like I'm trying to like read and understand what the subtitle is, but I'm like trying my best not to also rock out because it's so good. It sounds really good. I played a little bit for my wife earlier too. She's like, that sounds really, really good. Yeah, we are immortal. Damn, this is great. Man. <laughs> oh my God, right there. 
hire a real Japanese history expert, right? And that's what they should have done, right? They should have been like, okay, we want to make sure that we get the we get everything correct. We want to make sure we have the sakura blossoms, sakura blossom in the backgrounds correct. The the time of day is correct. The colors correct. The that the setting is correct because like the the seasons in Japan they mean a lot, right? So I remember watching a video saying that it's incorrect, and I feel like they just pulled all these information out of their butt. They didn't care. They all they tried to do is pull every information out of their butt. Oh, that sounds good. Do that. Let's put in black hip hop music. Oh yeah, let's do that because the because Yasuke is black. It's like like holy crap, man. They do not care about anything. But yeah, gay black samurai is historically accurate Japanese experience. Seriously, the feels like opening theme of an anime. Yeah, it's it's they could have had a slam dunk home run. This, yeah, like, like, like right over here. Hire a real Japanese history expert. That's all they needed to do. Hire one person to make sure everything is correct. Your game would have been really, really good. But no. Oh, okay. Right over here. Sorry, I'm sorry I'm pausing again. But right over here. When they say, as a result of searching for various literature, books, and novels, they're talking about that guy, right? That guy that, that, that wrote that book because he saw a, uh, a, little, a little paragraph on Wikipedia. Oh, I'm going to make this book about a black samurai called Yasuke now, right? Wow. Wow. Okay. Jeez. Isn't actually that great? He's not. He's not that great. Elon Musk comes along. Yeah, there it is, man. Big Daddy Elon. DEI kills art. It absolutely does, man. As an artist who's as a lead artist working on a Marvel game, I know DEI kills art. 100 percent dude holy crap man like you're gonna have oh this person is not gay enough this person is not this enough this person is not that enough it's like oh put this make this person more non-binary do, do this make this it's like you're over designing something that does not need to be over designed oh this character's too good looking we got to make this character uglier right it's like why would you need to do that and yeah it basically as an artist whenever we have to implement these dei bullcrap your idea and your DEI stuff ruins the initial concept art, like what this, what this is actually saying here. And man, man, this song is so good so far too. Let's continue. Yep, shut up. Yes. So basically, I'm sorry, I'm pausing again. Does Ubisoft want all of this drama to go away? Does Ubisoft actually want all of the Japanese people to stop talking and pointing out inaccuracies with Yasuke and Assassin's Creed Shadows? Absolutely, right? Most recently, um... There was like a, like a, like a, I think samurai reenactment or something like that. There's like some kind of like thing that's happening where they're, they're doing it like a reenactment and they have a flag and Ubisoft got caught and they basically copy and pasted that flag and that banner into their concept art. They have, they have to recently come out and issue an apology saying that, yes, sorry, we used it. You will not see it again. We, we will not use it in game. However, it will be used in our concept art book. Wow. Wow. I, as an artist, are you freaking serious, man? 
the art director okayed it. The publishing okayed it. Did you not for once think about, hey, we use this unofficial banner for our in-game art. Oops, sorry, we got caught. We're going to change it. Sorry, we're going to have to apologize now. Oh my God, dude. The audacity, man. The audacity of disrespect, dude. Everything is me. Yep. China. Oh, man. Yep, make him gay. Yep. We're going to make him gay. Damn. This music goes. The editing, too, looks really great. Damn, that was good. Holy crap, man. That was so good. Jeez. Damn. I, yeah, I'm going to share that. Damn, this is so good. I'm going to share this. Go. Holy crap, man. That's so good. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm I think this is a key. This is in katakana, so I'm not sure. I believe his name is cabbage. I'm not hundred percent sure, but here we go. I'm gonna share it. I'm sure the link. Man, that was so good. Now, go, go ahead and give this guy a subscribe. I am gonna subscribe to this guy as well. Yeah, uh that that's some good stuff, man. That's some good stuff. Yeah. The fact that like the music is really good too. I think I think the fact that the music is really, really good too makes it uh makes it even better. Yeah, it makes it even better, which is uh, which is insane. But yeah, um, I agree. Uh, so okay, so basically his description says, "Nice to meet you. My name is Cabbage Man, and I I introduce games in Japan. Currently, Assassin's Creed Shadows is being viewed as a problem in the Japanese community. As the debate grows day by day, we Japanese have decided to express our sadness and anger towards this game in a song and deliver it to uh, the whole world." Dear overseas gamers, please listen to our opinion. That's awesome. That's uh, good. And it's a banger too. It's so good.